Most memorable and satisfying moments come from hardship experiences, whether starting a business from scratch, winning a marathon, or achieving something outside your comfort zone. These are the tales of victory that demand a tenacious spirit. The world-renowned performance coach Steve Magnus has found through extensive research that tougher individuals are able to perceive stressful situations as challenges instead of threats. In his book, Do Hard Things, he explores the myths around the popular conception of toughness. The book shows how traditional markers of toughness, like putting on a brave face and pushing through pain, can actually hinder physical and mental performance in the long term. Instead, real resilience comes from listening to your body and embracing your emotions. Today, we'll go through the four scientific pillars of toughness, which will help you crack the code of success. Stay with us until the end as the third pillar is truly eye-opening in terms of how most people treat life. Pillar number one, ditch the facade, embrace reality. True toughness is like preparing for a big game or a high stakes meeting. It's not about flexing your muscles. It's about how you evaluate the playing field and your own skills. Think of it as the pregame warm-up, setting the stage for your performance. How you perceive the challenge ahead can dictate your response. It's like the pitch before you step onto the field, determining your readiness to tackle any obstacle. Traditional toughness will say to act confident, while the science of toughness teaches you to embrace reality. Your assessment shapes every step in your journey towards resilience. It's like how a well-tuned engine can propel you forward or leave you stranded. The way you view yourself and the world around you plays a pivotal role. It's like steering a ship. You choose the direction and your biology follows the course you chart. True confidence doesn't boast loudly like a blaring horn in a quiet room. It's more like a steady heartbeat, the silent strength that comes from recognizing both your flaws and your strengths. It's about embracing reality, warts and all, instead of hiding behind a facade. It's akin to setting your own rules like a solo explorer in uncharted territory. Pillar number two, listen to your body. When we recognize and understand our feelings, it's as if these messengers gently guide us with useful information instead of screaming alarms. Uncertainty might trigger those alarms, but clarity lets us respond thoughtfully. Are our feelings just delivering valuable information or bossing us around with no control? The goal is to keep them in their role as messengers, not rulers. Imagine a battle inside your mind where different parts of you are fighting for control. It's like deciding who gets to steer the ship. In tough situations, we want to make sure the right inner voice is in charge. Sometimes that means countering negative thoughts with positive ones, like steering a ship through a storm. Other times, it means quieting the noisy parts of your mind and giving yourself some space from your thoughts. What's clear is that during challenging times, how we handle our inner dialogue is really important. Traditional toughness will tell, ignore the pain and push on. But the science of toughness is about acknowledge the pain, but maintain equanimity. When things get tough, it's easy to let those negative voices take over and make you want to give up. But by taking control of the conversations in your mind, you can make sure the part of you that's resilient and strong is the one leading the way to success. Pillar number three, respond instead of react. The key to toughness isn't just enduring or reacting. It's like having an inner sanctuary, a calm oasis, where you decide how to respond. Whether you call it equanimity, a tranquil dialogue with yourself, patience, or consciously choosing your course, it's the cornerstone of building your inner strength. Picture it like a warm, radiant light beaming from your core as you face the inevitable stresses life throws at you. Equanimity and toughness, like synchronized dancers, complement each other, creating a powerful harmony. We often think of toughness as a one-size-fits-all approach. Just push through, never give up. But 
as we've discovered, that's a narrow way of looking at it. True toughness is more like having a toolbox, a selection of strategies, each fine-tuned for different situations. It's about turning the dial, adapting to your capabilities and the specific challenges you face. Imagine it as being an expert DJ, seamlessly adjusting the music to fit the mood on the dance floor. Equanimity is the steady beat in the background, but you also have the power to switch tracks, amplify, dim the lights, or redirect the groove as needed. That's the art of mastering your resilience. Pillar number four, transcend discomfort. When we satisfy our basic psychological needs, we allow ourselves to reach our full potential, to utilize the tactics and strategies discussed and sail through challenging times. Our basic needs give us a stable platform to venture away from and come back to. Traditional toughness will say to forget your psychological need and just do the work. But the science of toughness is about satisfy your psychological needs and you'll work harder than ever. Find meaning in discomfort. Real toughness is living in the nuance and complexity of the environment, bodies, and minds we inhabit. There is no one standard pathway to inner strength, no formula for making difficult decisions or dealing with the extremes of discomfort. Real toughness is about acceptance of who you are, what you're going through, and the discomfort that often comes with it. It's living in that place of tension so that the needed space can be created to find the best path forward. Be who you are. That's real toughness. If you want to learn more about mental toughness, a great book on the subject is Mark Minervini's Mindset Secrets for Winning. It's a great read for anyone in any walk of life. Thank you for watching.